So, leg 14 of the Moors Millions, slightly longer version, over 3 miles and 7 furlongs in Hereford. So, cosy breeder for David Robertson is number one. Their top weight, Martin Eden Wizard, is two. Le Banzi for Craig Beckwith is three. Our fight to four favourite. Charm Adele Phantom for Thomas Rogers is four. And Dictate Ross for Martin Eden is five. So, with three qualifying, Martin comes here with a couple of horses, stands every chance. And we've got a 3 mile 7 furlong qualifier. To the first the 25 that I have to take. Race through the first couple of furlongs. Rain coming down here. And the bog becoming boggier. Let's dictate Ross the first of the greys from Cozy Breed up in the top weight. Then Robinson up against the fence. We're all to taking a keen hold here. It's going to be a 15 minute, 3 miles, 7 furlong race at this pace. But it's dictate Ross. But Comes the breeder just comes alongside and takes it up now from uh, Martin Needham's other horse, Wizard. Winner last week. Let's dictate Ross. Comes the breeder now. So dictate Ross just knows his back in front. Wizard, Charmanel, Phantom, and the Benza. Benza, should I say. We go with the fourth. So another 21 fences to take. It's Cosy Breeder and dictate Ross. Right handed now. Approach the next to the fifth. It's probably Dictate Ross that's going to rise first. Cozy Breeder is taking a very keen hold now. They approach this next one. It's a plain one. And it really gets over that well. So, with only four lengths between first and last, it's a fairly tactical race this one. Ross on his own now by a length. So the remainder just being led by Cozy Breeder. Why does Charm and Phantom on the inside of that is Wizard up against the fences? The Banzi. Seventh. Oh, we've lost one, and it's Cozy Breeder for David Robinson that's gone. The top weight is kind of a little bit much. It's a fall of there, unlucky. Just four left. Watch them going away from the grandstand. Two more circuits to go. Is this Dictate Ross? Banzi. Charmadel Phantom and Wizard. High jump there by Dictate Ross. Oh, we're riding on board. A rare view. Dictate Ross, our leader. Banzi, as you can see, just on the inside, but Dictate Ross seems to. Shakers of the reins there as we approach the next. And we're riding on the Banzi for Craig Beck with his outside as we uh, approach the ninth. Oh, I should have watched him going over that. And we'll take it well. His arm's a little bit slow. So with aerial view now. And, uh, helicopter can. Back to the normal can. And camera. To editor. More fingers on that keyboard. And an octopus. The stick tape Ross that still leads from Lavanzi in second, taking a hold from Charmadel Phantom and Wizard. We've still got a further two miles and a couple of furlongs before we get down to the exciting part of the race. So as they approach the twelfth, we'll be nearly halfway through the fences. It's Dick Tate Ross with a sixth length advantage now, takes it comfortably. Now Phantom just stepped over it a little bit. So we're still two miles to go. The ditch. Leaders over it, jumps it well. Oh, we've lost another one. This time it's Charmin Al Phantom that's gone. Lucky for Tom Rogers. So there's just three left. Two of them is Martin Leadham. Sitting pretty here. And then Banzi is your only challenger. Another win. the great as we finally come inside the two miles. Approaching the next. With an eight length advantage from Wizard and Mabanzi. We go to the 14th. Dictate 
Vamos. Stand again. Take the 16th, which will be the last next time round, which is when it will matter. Leave us over it. The remainder of the Benzian Wizard. You want to know, just got to get over these fences and you will qualify. It's the winning post. And Indian file. Let's dictate while still. Unless it's the beginning. Seven to the Banzi, sorry about five, should I say? Move that three or four back to Wizard. Into the seventeenth. Put us over there as well. So we gave Martin the day off today from the national hunt. Drew success yesterday. I can't believe the commentator didn't even notice the fact that uh, my horse got blocked off certainly have made that finish a much more exciting finish for everybody else other than Martin. And they had really sour grapes about it. So if anybody wants to talk to me, they can. As they go over the 19th. Small trainers don't have much chance. If it wasn't for the stupid race kit, I'd still have a chance of winning the Grand National. Anyway, back to this race. Which is a Moore's Millions, leg 14, being led by Dictate Ross, Banzi in second, and Wizards third. Only one, two, three. And five fences to take. It's Dictate Ross being pushed along a little bit now. Into it, jumps it well. From the Banzi, Wizard just stepped over that. So there's five and a half furlongs still to run. Four to jump, it's Dictate Ross from the Banzi. About five back to Wizard into the open ditch. Leaders over it. There's Lavanzi in second. So, being pushed along there, dictate Ross in the mud. Lavanzi trying to pick up. It comes over to the rails. They swing right handed to line up for the judge in the final half mile. Wizard's under a lot of pressure and being really scrubbed along now, but it's dictate Ross has still got a four length advantage. We're inside the four and with three to jump. It's dictate Ross approaches the next. Going to take it. it with a five length advantage from his running on stable mate Wizard. Gets over that well. So with just three to jump, it's Dictate Ross from the and Wizard. As they come down to the next, it's Dictate Ross. The and Wizard trying to close the gap. Dictate Ross is under a lot of pressure now and he's still got a quarter of a mile to run. And it's Dictate Ross. Whip, whip's been out for a while from the and Wizard. They're over the penultimate. They both step over it, the chasers, but it's Dictate Ross still holding off all challengers. Inside a third and a half, just one to jump. He's only got to get over it. But here comes the Banzi he trying to eat up the distance in the mud but it is Dictate Ross still holding off inside the final furlong one to jump Dictate Ross Le Banzi Wizard Dictate Ross Le Banzi's fighting back we've only got half a, and a poor jump by Le Banzi's giving it on a plate to Dictate Ross after all that good work so Dictate Ross wins it for Martin Leadham second is Le Banzi for Craig Becker third is Wizard for Martin Leadham and they all qualify and they may well be in the final let's take your pick so, leg 14 goes to Dictate Ross for Martin Leadham. Second was Labanzi for Craig Beckwith. Third was Wizard for Martin Leadham. And that's all that finished.